Hey everyone, it's Frendon again, coming to you with another episode of Forging with Frendon. And uh, today we're going to cover another pretty useful tree, the black birch. And it's funny because I was going to go to a specific spot where I knew there was a nice one, but along the trail, found one right here. So this is a black birch. All right, try to get in here closer, let you guys see what it's about. So pretty much, black birch, leaf-wise, has these, I guess, elliptical kind of leaves is what you'd call them. They have like double serrate teeth on them. And, oh, it's got a wind breeze right here. And they don't have flowers. They actually have, if I could find them, of course I won't be able to. Oh, here we go. Here's one. They have these little dangle boys and they let off pollen, so they're wind pollinators technically. But they have those in the spring. And one way to tell, aside from the leaves too, is they have these sideways lenticels is what they call them. These horizontal lenticels on the, on the trunk. And they pretty much keep that all the way up. And uh, I'll see if we can find a big black birch. But when they get bigger, they keep these horizontal lenticels, but it gets a little more, like, I guess rustic looking for lack of a better word. But the reason why I'm showing you black birch today is for one of its many uses, the important medicinal uses. And I'm deciding to go forging with Frendon on this channel because to be honest with you, that's going to be the main reason for this channel. So essentially, when you, you could eat the bark on these, like the cambrium, like just like the pine tree, but also pretty much they have a medicinal property too, is that they, uh, eating these is like an Advil, almost half an Advil. So you could take a couple of these twigs, not the leaves, but just the twigs and boil them. And you can make like a tea out of it with Advil. But the way you tell, and I'll show you later in the episode because black birch looks very much like black cherry and you don't want to make this mistake because uh, you'll you'll regret it trust me but if you see a black birch you scrape this a little bit and you give her a sniff and it smells like wintergreen I mean I've had people say like licorice wintergreen whatever I think wintergreen but you here hold on let me let me just show you practice what I preach in a sense just rip that off Oh yeah, wintergreen. But you chew on a couple of these bad boys, you have a headache in the woods, something, need some pain to be taken away, a little bit dehydrated, these definitely help. But now, I'm gonna go find a black cherry for you. And we're gonna go see one of those. swallowing it though. <laughs> it's a little woody. Alright, well here's a cool little tidbit. These are actually all blueberry bushes. Oh, there's a deer running out there. Super casual. Um, these are all blueberry bushes, but I'm going to uh, cover those in another day. But I just want to show you real quick. Look at those bad boys. They're coming in, but we'll definitely cover those in another day. It's gonna be around July, but this, if the white filter balances out, is a black cherry. This one has been demolished. I don't know if you could see those tents in here. Oh, here's one perfect right here. And that's how you know it's a black cherry. That tent, sorry guys, I'm double up. You could see them. Those tents are, uh, oh, and it's not full of them, Jesus, I apologize. Those are forest tent caterpillars. So in the spring, they're forest tent ca caterpillars. In the fall, they're fall webworm. There are two different kinds of caterpillars, but they literally demolish this entire tree. Like there's nothing left of it. But um, you could tell because the forest tent caterpillars are very specific to like cherry trees or anything of the prunus genus. And, oh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at some. 
that tent up there, you could actually, if you can see it, I doubt it. Because this GoPro is horrible and doesn't really zoom well. There's a bunch of forest tent caterpillars shown on that one. But I've learned that as a, uh, as a tree doctor and treating trees for like diseases and insects that plants are very, or insects are very specific with the plants that they like. So yeah, that's how I was able to tell. This is a Juneberry tree. I'm gonna get into that one, but it's in the cherry. Oh, actually, mm, no. I was gonna say that because the bark might look the same. All right, so trying to find my way in here. All right, so you look at this, right? Black cherry, the leaf looks pretty, pretty darn similar, but it's not as serrated. And when you look at the base of the leaf, right towards, let's see if I could get it. There's actually like two little burrs right there then this pretty much every every cherry tree has those every style cherry tree usually not not every prunus tree but like that's very typical of cherry trees and I mean while these cherry trees you can technically do the uh, you can use the cherries off them they're extremely bitter or they can be so like black cherries which this is what it is prunus serrana is the uh, Italian oh oh Lanta the uh, Latin name that's the Latin name choke cherry I think is prunus virginiana so you can use the cherries off these, but you cannot use it like you do the black birch. And you do the same test. You literally take this and you, you scrape it. And this is why you should always scrape it and smell it before you stick one of these black birches in your mouth. And you give it a, oh God, you give it a little sniff. Oh, it's, it's like the most bitter, nasty, repulsive smell I've ever smelled in my life. So like, you just gotta be careful with that one. But, well, oh, making sure no snakes. It's gallivanting in here and nerding out about trees. It's got to make sure I don't get bit. Uh, fun fact about Harriman, there's a lot of rattlesnakes and copperheads up here. And they tend to be more by water, but you never know. I've been on this mountain seen a huge rat, black, black rat and snake. So, what I was talking about with the, just to get back to business, what I was talking about with the bark before. You see how this, this is cherry tree bark when it's adult. And it's very, like, some people call it like potato chip bark but if you notice really closely on this because this this is like the younger section of bark I mean it's all it all fills in outwards like because the, the tree grows not from the middle but on the outside it just gets thicker you could see those horizontal lenticels I'm gonna see if I could find a nice spot sorry here I'm gonna double check that you see how you see those horizontal lenticels on there this one's not, uh, bug, don't fly in my eye. This one's not the best, uh, I guess, example. Let's see if we get around. I'm sorry, guys, I'm just looking. Might even be able to see it up there on it a little bit, but you get the same style. You, you get what I'm saying. You get the same horizontal lenticels. So, like, by the untrained eye, they actually look pretty much alike, but they have those minute differences. And just a funny story about it. I was hiking on this mountain, this exact mountain. I just gotten COVID, and um, I I got long COVID, so I lost my smell, my taste, everything. And I'm sitting there hiking, and I see one of the trees, and it's early spring. They didn't have leaves on them yet. It's like, oh, black birch. I go, I pick it, I pick it off. I go to chew on it. I'm sitting there, and like two seconds later, three seconds later, I'm just like, oh man, yeah, no, that was that that, that was not black birch. It was like revolting to keep that in my mouth like that was the first time I ever accidentally like chewed a cherry because I always did the smell test first it's never failed me oh and look it's our pine friend from last last episode but yeah it's never failed me wrong that smell test but um yeah I think that's all I'm gonna show you for today um, I'm gonna head back to the car I'm gonna finish this up I do have to say though before I get back to the car I'm so happy it's spring I mean, it's a little chilly right now because it's windy, but look at all these trees. Oh, and the butterfly, that was that was amazing. That was actually like perfect timing. But yeah, man, everything's in bloom, makes me happy. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't really mind the winter too much, but at the same time, it sucks. I don't really go outside too much. I sit inside. I don't really do any winter sports, but uh, yeah. 
It's nice to be outside, that's for sure. Alrighty, guys, I'm on uh, back in my car chilling. Good to be out of that wind. You probably hear me a lot better. I hope none of that audio is messed up because I would hate to have to do it all over again. But we'll find out. It's probably not going to be too bad. But, um, yeah, that's it for today's episode, except for just one little quick thing. I just wanted to say, like, why I'm starting this channel. Like, essentially, I see that things are, like, getting a little bad and, like, weird in the United States. Even, like, right now there's the formula shortage, all this stuff. And, you know, like, you never know if there's going to be a food shortage. Even, like, earlier I was seeing just, like, food wouldn't always be stocked in the grocery store. And I know that if worst-case scenario, a lot of people, like sort of be left out hung, hung, like pretty much left out to dry like they're just in the wind they they don't know anything so like i hope you guys watching this are able to get something from this channel that you can see just things in nature that you can use and of course i could try to teach you to hunt like i really don't know fully how to hunt myself but but since i have plant knowledge and plants and trees are my passion and i know that plants don't move you just have to know where to find them so uh, that's that's why I started this channel. And I guess really quick to touch on it, since I didn't even tell you where you find the birches. So I mean they're they're a proper or a popular northeast plant, northeast, eastern, east of the Mississippi for sure. And like you sort of find them everywhere. They they like I mean, they're on the mountain right here, but if you look around, they're sort of a little bit of a wet ground in that area. Like and you'll find cherries and birches next to each other, which makes it even harder to like or even easier to misidentify one. But black birches, like their other birch cousins, do like wet, wet ground, wetter area. And by the way, don't try this with other black with other birches, like white birches, river birches, paper birches. They they don't have the same properties and qualities that the black birch does when it comes to that medicinal Advil. And being able to eat like the cambium in it, so don't don't try it. Um, but yeah, you find you find them more towards like wetter areas. But um, yeah, if you do if you do want to actually read more into this about yourself, this stuff about yourself, I got a Sibley's guide right here. Sibley's book the trees. This literally has trees from all over the United States, everywhere. It has drawings too, and like. Uh, Gamble Oak, for example, that's not even from around here, but that's, yeah, southwestern United States, if you could see that. But that's pretty much the book is amazing. So this book, and I'm going to start delving into this book more. This is Peterson, Field Guide to Edible Plants, Eastern and Central North America. So this will cover all these, and this one's actually a good one, too, because it doesn't, it, the drawings aren't as good as that, but it has some decent drawings in it. And it also tells you where to find the plants, and it tells you what you can use them for, like jams for like the, the choke cherries, for example, just other stuff like that and how to use them. But yeah, I'm going to be diving into this book a lot more. But um, yeah, for the Sibley's Guide and for the Peterson book, I will have links in the description for. And I'm going to see if I can get affiliate links from them, and that would be a great way to support the channel if you so desire to use my affiliate links and that would be greatly appreciated but i guess that's it for today guys if you have any comments questions anything feel free to leave them down in the comment section below make sure to like and subscribe if you like the content but um yeah that's it for today guys have a good one i'll see you soon